Once the set of candidates are done with their coding assessments, HackerAlert lets you access all reports when you open the test. The platform ranks all candidates automatically on the basis of their score on the test, so you can shortlist top performers in just seconds. HackerEarth also makes it much easier to filter candidates on various parameters. One of these parameters is the finish date, which lets you filter candidates who have completed the test within a certain date or time range. You can also filter candidates based on their score. So in case you have established a cutoff score, you can easily shortlist the candidates who have a score higher than the cutoff. You can even filter candidates based on the language in which they have written the code. So in case you want to filter, the, uh, filter out the candidates only basis who have written the code in Java, you can go ahead and do just that. Finally, HackerEarth also lets you set up a filter to identify candidates who have done really well in a particular section of the test. In this example, let's consider that we want to filter candidates who have scored over 75% in the data structure section, over 75% in the programming section, and over 50% in the multiple choice section. Essentially, you're filtering out the cream of the crop and HackerEarth lets you do just that in a few clicks. Now that the filters are applied, you can either shortlist a particular candidate or archive the candidate. Once you shortlist a particular candidate, they would be available under the shortlisted set here. In case you do not want to shortlist or reject a candidate, you can archive the candidate and their reports would be available on the archive. In case you haven't archived or shortlisted a candidate, they will be listed under review pending. And the invited tab is essentially a list of the candidates you've invited to take part for that particular assessment. So that's a little bit on the overall dashboard. Now let's talk about the report dashboard. This dashboard can extend the time offered to a candidate, reset a test or download the entire report of all the candidates who have taken up the test. Extending time comes into play when they are genuine cases where candidates could not complete the test. This could be due to a number of reasons such as network failures or power issues or even cases where a candidate reaches out to you. It is of course to your discretion whether you want to extend the time offered to a candidate or not. But if you do want to extend, you can go ahead and do that for a particular candidate from here. In such cases, all the work the candidates have done is automatically saved and the candidates can log back in and continue attempting the rest of the test once their issue is resolved. Time can be extended for a particular candidate or for a segment of your choosing. The other option is to reset a test. Let's say a few minutes after the test has completed, you spot there's some sort of issue because of which it doesn't make sense to simply extend the duration of the test. In such cases, you can reset the test. In this situation, all the candidates answers would be removed and they'll have to take up the test again from scratch. Just as it is with extending the duration. You can reset the test for a specific set of candidates. One scenario where this is useful is when you suspect that some candidates have indulged in malpractices and you want to ask them to take the test again. In such cases, you can reset the test for a segment of the candidate and prompt them to attempt it again. Further, in cases where you suspect malpractice, you can download a report of all the candidates. This report is in the form of an Excel sheet and contains all the necessary information such as start and end dates, test duration, individual questions and so on. The report also records events where a candidate violates proctoring rules set by you at the time of test creation. HackerEarth also lets you generate a plagiarism report for a particular candidate. The plagiarism report will also give you a clear comparison between the code submitted by that particular candidate and the code written by other candidates who are part of the same test. 
it also compares the candidate's code with any pieces of code found across the internet the plagiarism report shows you a match percentage to give you a sense of how similar a candidate's code is to another candidate's work and if that match percentage is greater than 70% we flag those particular reports as plagiarized as you can see in the report the code is color coded which makes it easy for you to identify the areas that have been potentially been plagiarized any lines that are marked in white are comparable between two candidates if the match percentage here crosses 70 we flag those particular lines of code as plagiarized this applies to code found on the internet as well the lines marked in yellow are somewhat similar to the code submitted by the other candidates or code found on the internet it is typically a small change like a variable name that's different for example in essence a very small similarity anything marked in colors pink and green indicate pieces of code that are unique in this example the candidate has copied the code from a source on the internet so we will mention the url and the match percentage as well now apart from the plagiarism report we also offer individual candidate reports which are very extensive and comprehensive which we cover the total score rank and the attempted questions we also cover benchmarks or show you benchmarks to help you understand where a candidate stands compared to the entire candidate group or against a global benchmark so if there are similarly defined tests that have similar skills and difficulty levels hackerot ensures that you get an understanding of a candidate's skill level further we offer a skill wise performance chart this will help you figure out a candidate's strengths and weaknesses This is particularly useful because quite often candidates claim that they're skilled in a topic but once you actually have a con conversation with them you realize that they don't really have the skills they claim to possess on their resumes. The skill wise performance chart also helps map a candidate's skill essentially you get a sense for which skills a candidate needs to improve on and use it as a benchmark for whether the candidate has actually gotten better at a particular skill over time now apart from that you have key observation section this part of the report gives you an overview of any violations of proctoring rules such as tap switching or impersonation in this case as you can see there are multiple candidates and the details you have asked the candidates to fill will be captured here further down you have a detailed question by question report which lets you see how much a candidate has scored on each question an additional feature we provide is the code quality score here you can see all the test cases that a candidate has gotten right and you can also see the quality of the code that they've written we've integrated with sonar cube with our platform to make sure that these scores are accurately assigned after grading candidate score on four different parameters maintainability reliability security and the order of complexity we also offer a code player which will replay how a candidate went about writing their code so that we can identify the approach that a candidate has taken it captures every keystroke so that the uh, so that the changes made to the code the approach taken and so on can be analyzed of course if you want to download an individual report in the form of a pdf you can do that or if you want to share a report with someone who's not part of the admin list with a url you can do that as well and that's it that covers everything you need to know about reports on hackerot